We want to talk about believe in yourself. Now, we're all my graduates. Raise your hand if you're gradu being graduated from something, okay? So you all are going from what? Uh, kindergarten? Oh, th this is kindergarten. These, these are my kindergarten. I thought these were my kindergartners over here. These are not my kindergartners over here. The, the, you, you, okay, these two are kindergartens, okay. And then this right here, my uh, first grade is going to second grade. Where y'all going? Y'all going to who school? All my middle school, folks going from grade school to middle school, raise your hand. Let me see those. You going to, okay. You, you, all right. They, now, we're, all right. We're on ones graduating from kindergarten. Raise your hand, graduating from kindergarten. Okay, let's give our kindergarten. Okay. All right. Now, 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 the next group that we'll be going from grade school to middle school, raise your hand. Y'all yeah, don't know where y'all going? Where you going? The middle school? If you're going to middle school, raise your hand. You, oh, yeah, raise your hand. Yeah. Okay, thank you, my brothers. Okay, all right. And if you're going from middle school to high school, raise your hand. And if you're going from high school to out of the house. Woo, woo, everybody happy. Everybody yeah. All right, so, so, so now I, I'm going to ask y'all some stuff, and I may date myself a little bit, uh, but how many of you ever heard of the movie, a Rocky movie, or Creed, or she's heard it, a Creed? Y'all heard about Creed and, and, and Rocky and, and any of those? Okay, all right, how many of you have ever heard the phrase, believe in yourself? Anybody ever told you that? Yeah. yeah. Raise your hand if you know. Y'all can raise y'all's hands too. Yeah, anybody? Okay. Have you ever told anybody that? Raise your hand if you ever told anybody that. Okay. All right. So now, uh, we, we've been in a series called Fake News, and I know y'all real smart, so I'm going to see how smart you are. I got the adult answer to the question, but I want to ask you all, is that true or false? Should you believe in yourself? Believe in yourself. Is that true or false? True? All right. I got some true, I got some false, got some true. Okay, all right. And some of y'all say we need to, and some of you say we don't. Now, did y'all get your little cards? There's some, look, look in front of these seats here. Look, you should have a little white card. Yeah, and pass them out and, and some pens. And, and, and now for my K through five, no, those going from elementary to middle school, I'm, I'm need two volunteers. Who's going to be my two volunteers? Go, I'd raise your hand. Okay, let's see. I, I, I need a girl and a boy. Okay, so all right, it's between Carly and Christina and Carter. You, you, you want to go, Carly? Okay. All right, now, uh, Josiah and, and, and Noah, I need one of y'all to volunteer. Okay, he done put your hand. Okay, Noah. Okay, all right. So y'all come on up here. I, I, need you, I need somebody to help me with the mics here. And then where's the other mic? Yeah, let me, leave it on the stand for me. Leave it on the stand. Thank you. Okay. All right. Now, here's your question. Okay. All right. No, why don't you go to the tall one? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Y'all can be a team up there. Y'all can discuss y'all's answer. Okay. Now, this, what does the statement believe in yourself mean to you? you gonna, both of y'all going to answer that. What does the statement believe in yourself mean to you? Go ahead. Uh oh no, you raise your hand. <laughs> now you can't get up and get staged right now. All right, let me go down here. Y'all got it together? Okay, come on. All right, go ahead. What does that mean? Come on. I think the statement in believing in yourself is like, you gotta try. If you don't try anything, you won't know if you can do it. So you, so you gotta try and see if you can do it. And you gotta believe in yourself that you could do something that you never try and think was. Okay, okay, all right, all right, all right. Now, what you going to do with that? What, huh? he, he done dropped the mic on you. What you going to do with that? Huh? You going to go with what he said? Oh, you got something else? Well, well, well. You got it. Go ahead. Go, whatever you think it means. That you can go forward and not back. All right, you can go forward and not back. Okay, look at it, drop that. Bam, you drop that, come on. All right, y'all have a seat there. Now, 
so, y'all good, y'all good. Yeah. Jo Josiah, did you have something you want to say? Okay, go ahead, what you got to say? Uh, I think it means uh, that you gotta believe in yourself and if you say that you can't do something, then you'll never succeed. You gotta, you gotta uh, say positive stuff about yourself and a little bit of confidence. All right, a little bit of confidence. All right, look at this. Okay, okay. And those are good answers, and that's why I need to hear what you mean by believe in yourself. And I want to talk about what Jesus means when he tells us not to believe in ourselves. And I want us to look at uh, Matthew, the 16th chapter, for those of you who've got your Bibles. And then if, for those who put it on the app, uh, you, can, you got an app? Y'all got your phones? Okay, all right. Yeah, you, good. Y'all not supposed to have phones. That's the right answer. All right. All right, Matthew 16, and they're going to put up on the screen up there for you, okay? And we're going to look at verses 24 through 26. Matthew 16, 24 through 26. And here's, he heard these words. Then Jesus said to his disciples, whoever, listen to what he says now, whoever wants to be my disciples must deny themselves and take up the, their cross and, what, what does it say next? And follow me. Yes, now listen, now let's just stop. Let's just do that verse right there. So let's just stop right there with that verse. Now, first thing it tells you, it says that Jesus, this is Jesus talking. Anybody know who Jesus is? Okay, all right, so Jesus is talking here. Now, Jesus was meeting with his disciples. He took them on a retreat because they had been uh, engaging in some really tough conversations about who Jesus was. And Jesus had told them that he is the Messiah. And then one of his disciples turned to Jesus after he said he was going to be crucified and be raised from the dead and then told him, Jesus, you can't do that. And he said, Satan, get behind me. And then he says to them, now, whoever, who does that include, whoever? Does that include you? Does that include you? Yeah, everybody. So he's talking to everybody now. He says, whoever wants to be my disciple, and that word wants means that you voluntarily do it, that nobody makes you do it. You, you can't make somebody follow Jesus. You can show them the way, but you can't make them do it. All right. And, he, and he, he only wants you to do that voluntarily. He wants you to do it on your own volition. Are, are y'all with me that far? So he says, now, whoever wants to be my disciple. Now, does anybody know what a disciple is? I'm going to ask one of my high, high schoolers or graduates here. What, what's a disciple? Who we'll follow something? Or follow, she says follow. Oh, she's going to follow God. No, 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 no. She's right, but no, but she's more right. Because see, you, everyone disciples somebody, and everyone is someone's disciple. Everybody is following somebody or someone. So just think about it. Someone's following you, and you, and you, and you, and you're following someone. Now, when you're following that person, not only are you going to follow them, but you're going to adhere to their views and their values and, 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 and their virtues, all right? Their values are their core beliefs, the things that they believe. And have, how many of you have ever had an argument with a friend or, or broke up a friendship? Yeah, yeah. Y'all can raise your hand too. Yeah. Now, when you break up a friendship, usually it's because they have a different value than you on some level. And because of that value, you decide that you no longer can be friends. So everybody, that's what you call your core values, right? They violated your core values. And because of that, uh, you held those very near and dear. So once you have your core values, then you have your virtues. That's what tells you, you're sort of like your moral compass that tells you what you're going to do right and what is wrong. But how do you know what is right and what is wrong? It's based on your core values. Are you with me there? And then your core values, not only going to tell you about what you're going to do right and what you're going to do wrong, but it's also going to tell you your viewpoint. How many of you got views on stuff? Yeah, so most of the time when you're getting in it with your mom or your dad or whomever, when they got one view and you got another view. Has that ever happened? Hey, Amen. So, 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 and especially the older you all get, the more views y'all have. Right? And they seem to be 
diverse. I mean, your parents are over here and you're over there, right? And then because of those views, all right, you, ha- you develop your views based on your what? Core values. Now, the key thing becomes, where did you get your beliefs from? Do you either have a worldly view or a godly view? I don't care if it's about your money. I don't care if it's about how you manage your body. I don't care if it's how you manage your friendship. I don't care what it is. Every decision you make is based on one of your values and how you see life. So now look what Jesus says here. He says, whoever wants to be my disciple must. This is not an option. This is only if you want to be Jesus' disciple. Now, if you don't want to follow Jesus, y'all can just tune me out and stay on your phone and watch whatever you want to watch. But if you want Jesus, if you want to be Jesus' disciple, he says the first thing you must do is say deny. Say deny. Now, that word means to begin right now to refuse and reject yourself. Look what it says. Deny yourself. Whoever. Say whoever. Who does that include? Everybody. So here's an open invitation. If you want to follow Jesus, you must refuse and reject yourself right now. Now, there's a difference. Let me just pause because they gave me some, they dropped some knowledge on me here. There's a difference in denying yourself and loving yourself. He's not telling you not to love yourself. All right. In fact, he tells you to love yourself. Right? Right. He says, love your neighbor as you love your, so you can't love your neighbor until you love yourself, all right? And the reason you must love yourself is because you won't have good self-esteem, okay? And self-esteem, believe it or not, it says 85% of the people in the world don't have good self-esteem or at at one point had low self-esteem. And low self-esteem leads to you doing crime, drugs, sex, doing all sorts of things to try to build yourself up. But in order to love yourself, you got to know who who made you. All right? Now, some of y'all are going off to uh, schools that are going to teach you that you weren't made in God's image because there's no God. And the minute you go down that road, that's a slippery slope. And so here's what he's saying here now. He says you must deny your beliefs, your views, your values, and your viewpoints. That's what he's saying. Deny your values, your virtues, and your viewpoints. Deny yours, whatever you believe. That's the first thing. Deny yourself. Now, he could have stopped there. But he says, and next, not only do you need to deny yourself, you need to die to yourself. Look what he says. Take up a cross. Again, not optional. Yeah, not optional. Take up a cross. How many want to take up a cross? I say want to. (laughs) Yeah, it says want to. Right? He says, whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up a cross. So you must first do what? Say, deny myself. Now I must die to myself. Now, again, that means die to your values, your views, and your virtues. Whatever you believe, your whole belief system, he's saying, is whack. That's the easy version. It's whack. Now, this is why you get in in arguments with your parents, because they have views and values and virtues, and you have them, and they don't line up. You think you ought to be able to do this, and they say you ought not be able to do this. And guess what? Sometimes you're both wrong. Right? Sometimes we're both wrong. In other words, if it's not what Jesus says do, All right, then it's not what you should do. Period. Period. Now, so he says you must do what? Deny yourself. Say, deny yourself. Die to yourself. Now he says you must dethrone yourself. Look what he says. He says, follow me. So if you're following someone, that means you're not the leader. All right. If you're following someone, that means you're not the leader. In fact, when you're trying to lead yourself, that's above your pay grade. 
Yeah, how many try to lead yourself? Am I the only one? Thank, I saw somebody back there raise their hand. I, don't y'all be raising your hand now. I only had one brother back there. Raise your hand again, bro. Yeah, see, yeah, I got somebody in here with me. Yeah, all right. So, so you, must, you must dethrone yourself. You must take yourself off the throne and say, I'm no longer in control, that I'm not going to ask myself, myself. Have you ever said, I wonder what I'm going to do? Hmm, when you're picking boyfriends, girlfriends. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she laughed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can, can, can I just get real raw? I know some of these kids are young, and so I might have to put it high, but I want to put it low enough. But when you follow yourself, that means how, what you think about your sexuality, what you think about your morality, what you think about uh, uh, your financial way, how you handle your money, uh, how you dress your body, how you make up your body, all of these things, you're following yourself because you're trying to attract a certain person or a certain thing, or you want people to see you in a certain image. But he says you must first do what? Deny yourself, die to yourself, and dethrone yourself. That's, that hurts. Now watch this. He says, follow me. Follow Jesus. All right? Now when you do that, something's going to happen. People are going first, they're going to misunderstand you. Get ready for it. All right? Get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Get comfortable with being uncomfortable with people misunderstanding you. Are y'all walking with me? Next thing people are going to do, they're going to reject you. They're not going to want you in their friend circle. And, you know, there's so much pressure on having likes. You know, you want to be in that circle where everybody likes you. Okay? And the next thing, here's what's going to hurt when they unfriend you, when they ostracize you. When they put you out there by yourself. This is why you need each other. This is why you need to have somebody who believes like you. All right? Who has the same values you have. Because there's a world out there that wants to eat you all up. Wants to eat you up. Parents, your kids go to the malls and there's sharks out there looking for them. Tell your daughters and sons how nice they look and they got a little something for them. Just lure them away just a little bit to get them by themselves. And your lives will be changed forever. Are y'all walking with me here? So let me just give you, let me drop your first nugget on you. you I want you to remember this here. Believe in someone better than yourself. Believe in someone better than yourself. Who is that? Jesus. Jesus. Believe in Jesus because he knows better for you than you know for yourself. Watch this. Now, now let me see my second question. So that's the first thing. All right, so in my second group, where are my middle to high schoolers? Middle to high school. Okay, come on up. Come on up. Which one? You want to come? Come on. Yeah, come on. All right, take a mic, take a mic. All right, y'all get the second question. Now, I might date myself a little bit on this here. I only have another hour, so come on. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. You can you take the mic off. All right, so now, what does, the, what does Y-O-L-O mean, and what does it mean to you? You can take your mask off. You so I think the word is I think it's supposed to be YOLO. YOLO. What did I say? Y O L. YOLO. YOLO. Yeah, you're right. You're right. What does, what does YOLO mean? It just means like, like just do it. You only live once. Just you only live once. Okay. So what does that what does that mean to you then when it says just do it? What does that mean? Like don't think about it. Don't. I guess not thinking about the consequences oh, that come oh, with the action. Okay. Okay. All right. What does it mean to you? What does YOLO mean to you? <laughs> Come on. Basically, yeah, basically. Come on. It, like, You're um, just talking to the mic. Come on. To add to it, uh-huh. Kind of, we have like, 
Yeah, let's see. Yeah. So it's you're taking that like you're doing it. You're, doing it, you're just doing it. It can lead to bad. Okay. It can lead to like circumstances that you don't want that like that that, that position. Hi, 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 hi. Y'all did it. Okay. YOLO. Alright. All right. <laughs> All right, so let's, all right, so let's look at that next verse. Oh, yeah, 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 go ahead and sit down. I think it was, was that verse 24? That was y'all's verse. Okay, now verse 25. Now, let's look, look what it says. It says, for whoever wants to save their life will lose it, but whoever loses their life for my sake will find it. Now, now, you, the statement says you only live once. How many of you say that's true? Raise your hand. True. Once. You only live once. No. No. You live twice. You live once on earth and then, then eternity somewhere. Everybody gets to go to eternity. The question is where? Some of you going to be in the smoking section and some of you going to be in the non-smoking section. All right? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. All right. All right. So I'm trying to help you here not go to the smoking section. All right? All right. So now, look what it says first. Whoever wants to save their life. That means whoever wants to live by their own mantra, who want to do your own thing, don't worry about the consequences. You know, hey, just live it up. Ha have a great time, especially when you get to college. No mama, no daddy, nobody, no tell you what to do. Come in whatever time you want to come in and just yet yeah, tweet them and tell them you home when you ain't home. When you're out. Doing your thing, living it up, you're gonna save your life. You've been waiting for this. You, I just can't wait. Some of you got it marked on your calendar, you're counting down days. How many days you got, Charlize? See? <laughs> How many days, girl? Come on, come on. 80, 80. See, she, she, she look at, she know her number. Yeah, you know that number. She counting it. She like, and tomorrow it'll be 79. <laughs> Whoever, who does that include again? Everybody. So anybody who wants to live life on their own term, thinking that they're going to find it by living that way, the Bible says you're going to lose it. By your living it on your own terms, you're going to lose your life. By thinking that your views, your values, your virtues are better than what the Bible says, you're going to get in trouble each and every time. Each and every time. And there's an enemy that walks around like a roaring lion seeking you out. Can I talk plain with... Uh, I'm going to help my young ladies out. There's a crew of brothers on campus waiting for the new flock, placing bets and wages on who, when, and how. Going to fill your head with stuff to make you feel like you queen until, until, queen for a day. Well, let me break that up, for a moment. All right? Just trying to drop something on you. Are y'all picking up what I'm laying down? My brothers, they got something for you, too. Got to prove your manhood. Got to prove you got it. Whether it's drugs, uh, whether it's how many notches you can put in your belt, trying to save your life 
you will lose it. But then he says, but. That means you go in a different direction. Whoever, who does that include again? Everybody. Whoever loses their life, look what it says. For me, who's the me here? Jesus. Jesus saying, if you just, if, if you just stop following the rest of the world and just follow everything else I say, you're going to find what you're looking for. Whatever you're looking for, you're going to find it. But you can't find it on your own. You can find it only through him. That's the only way. All right? So what I said, you first you're going to, you got to do what? Deny yourself. Die to yourself. Dethrone yourself so that you won't be in the smoking section. Y'all with me? All right. And, and he says, you will find it. Now, let me just say this. Jesus needs those individuals. He needs uh, bankers who are following him. He needs basketball players who are following him. He needs football players who are following him. He needs uh, uh, architects. He needs nurses. He needs mechanics. He needs plumbers. Whatever you want to be, God needs those individuals following him, doing what he wants to do. What is it you want to be? A teacher. He needs godly teachers. Where's Carla? She was here just a second ago. Oh, there she is. Yeah, you remember she said she loved the Lord. Yeah, you can be a godly teacher. What do you want to be? An athletic trainer. He needs godly athletic trainers. What do you want to be? I, he needs those who have no idea. What do you want to be? <laughs> An artist. He needs godly artists. What do you want to be? A who? A nail tech. Fix me up, sister. Come on. <laughs> he needs godly nail techs. Come on, what do you want to be? Good, what do you want to be? A sower. Well, you're going to make stuff. Go ahead on, girl. I need a godly sower. What about you? A coder. A coder. Look, she said that with authority. I, he needs godly coders. Come on. A surgeon. Go ahead. Watch out. Let's give it up. We need godly surgeons. Come on, come on. Huh? A professional dancer. We need godly professional dancer. Come on, Ryan. Come on, man. See you for you. Yeah, I'm coming for you. What do you want to be? Huh? A, he needs godly. I don't know. Come on. Basketball. You ready for me? <laughs> he needs godly basketball players. Come on. Self-made millionaire. Self-made. Self-made. <laughs> you going to take care of me, man? We got to talk now. You, you. I'm, I got to get back, pay for them snacks. <laughs> I, I, matter of fact, I'm keeping a ledger right now. You got a debt to pay. Yeah, come on, baby. Beautician, can you do anything with this? She can hook me up. I, 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 he needs that. So losing yourself doesn't mean you can't be what you desire if that's what he wants you to be. Now, let me ask you this. Do you want to be what you want to be or what he wants you to be? Okay. All right. You need to stay open. You need to stay open because he could take in a whole different direction. Look at me. Look at me. This is not where I had on my card when I was in high school. I'm going to tell you right now. All right? But I had to be open. I had to be open. So let me drop your second nugget on you. Here it is. All right? You must lose yourself to find yourself. All right? You must lose yourself to find yourself. All right? Where's my last group? All right? Let me, let's, where my high school? Where, where my graduates? Where my graduates? Come on. Anybody graduate? Both of y'all. <laughs> One right there. Okay, you can come on up with them too. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. Come on. I need, one, I need one over here and two over here. Because, yeah, because this, this question, see, I knew I was going to need multiple things. Doesn't matter. You can go down here with her. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, it ain't put you on that short mic for a reason. I don't know why they put you down here. <laughs> I, 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 I had nothing to question? do with that. You see how they just left you down here by yourself? <laughs> huh? They just denied you, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, yes, you did. You, you looked at that short mic, you said. <laughs> yes, you did. Yes, you did. I, <laughs> All right, so here's y'all's question. 
if you could rule the world for one day. Now, since it's three of you, just give me one thing you would do, all right? Each of you got a chance, okay? You, you got it? Yeah. If you, oh, you ready too, aren't you? Yeah. Look at you. 79. <laughs> eight, 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 80 today. Tomorrow, 79. Go ahead. All right, go ahead, go ahead. What, what, what? Um, worldwide socialism. Worldwide socialism. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Come on. I would support, like, homeless okay. to help people get off the street. Okay, all right, okay. <laughs> well, just, just, just give me one, though. Okay, I would... Yeah, you do. <laughs> Go on, put it out there. Um... Mm -hmm. I would try to like find, find a way for like kids, like kids who want to like play sports, fund them for okay, free funding for athletes. Okay, all right, all right, all right. give it up, for them. okay, all right. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Good, 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 good. All right, is this good? All right, all right. So listen to what it says next. What good will it be for someone to gain the whole world, yet forfeit their soul? Or what can anyone give in exchange for their soul? All right. Now, again, God has many things you can be. But when it talks about what good will it be? you to gain the whole world if you could do any and everything that you wanted but you did it in a way that wasn't God's way and lost your whole soul the word forfeit means give it away you can't get it back when you forfeit something it is gone he says what good would it be what good would it be to do whatever good you wanted to do and you didn't do it God's way and give your soul up what good would it be or he says, what can you give in exchange equal to? What is it that you can give for your life in exchange for God to give you your life back? What is it that's equivalent enough for God to say, oh, you give me that, I'll give you your soul back? And the answer is absolutely nothing. Once it's gone, is gone forever. All right? Are y'all listening? Okay, that's a short one. That's a real easy one. Okay? So let me just give you what that last nugget is there. Here's what it is. Go ahead and give it to him. Don't forfeit your soul. Listen to it while going for the gold. Right? Don't forfeit your soul by going for the goal. Whatever you're striving for, don't give yourself away. Okay? Just to get to the next level. Okay? Because there's a world out there that will offer you the world if you just give yourself away. Your mind, your body, your spirit, your soul, you just give it all away. Don't do it. Don't do it. I've watched many of you grow up. This one right here who has 80 days. We have a special bond. She interviewed me for my job. When I got here, she says, I need to speak with you. Came in my office, crossed her legs, had pen and pencil, could not even write. <laughs> but she had some serious questions. I see you, you to be born. You're a young man. 
growing up. You were a baby. Baby. Two years old when I got here. All right? Four years old. Okay? Not even born yet. And it pains me what the world wants to do to you. You're beautiful in here, but you're nothing but meat out there to be devoured. Don't run from your parents. Run to them. Now, let me give you a news flash. They don't have all the right answers. And they may not always get it right. But let me tell you, nobody is going to love you as much as they love you. Nobody is going to want as much for you as they want for you. Nobody is going to sacrifice as much as they have sacrificed. Nobody but Jesus. He paid it all. And all to him we owe. But your mama and your daddy, oh, everything they do, they've done for you. So don't believe in yourself. Don't believe in someone better than you. Amen. Amen. And amen. Let me give you three things that I want you to remember. You can't follow yourself and Jesus at the same time. And if you're going to chase something, chase something worth finding. And don't throw your life away. Give it away. Give it to Jesus. Now there may be others here who don't know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. I want to read you a quote by a missionary who was killed as a young man. His name is Jim Elliott. He said, he or she is no fool who gives what he cannot keep to gain what he cannot lose. Just hang on to that. One day to make good sense. But your soul is yours. Your mom and dad are trying to lead you in the right way, but you get to decide. Where are you going to spend eternity? You get to decide. And so this week, here's what I want you to do. Here's your challenge. Stop doing you. Then go search and discover Jesus and his plans for you. So here's the bottom line. Don't do you, do Jesus. Don't do you, do Jesus. Amen? Amen.